going on everybody it's the american bro here so i heard from rocket man rocky matrix there i said it right this time so you get another shout out this time I, i'm giving it to you because i said it right just to make sure okay so don't beat me up man come on now don't beat me up now on a serious note i'm making this upload to kind of redo some of my old content because I know some of my viewers after what I did my old viewers are probably gonna come check this channel right so follow me I am going to break down the number one thing that is causing problems in the black community I'm gonna break it down bear with me now it's been a while since I've said this it's been a long time so I think I can only do it one way and the one way is six letters, two syllables, but just one word, niggas, okay? Niggas. Now, let me elaborate. Niggas ain't shit, for real, they ain't shit. You know, I can't, e I can't even walk around at night without hearing gunshots and shit. I can't even do that. Now, look, you can just see a little bit in the background over here where I'm at, you can tell. I'm not walking in a nicer area, far from it. Okay, now, niggas are definitely the problem, but the biggest reason that they're the problem is because they are gullible. That's why, niggas are gullible. All you have to do is sell them on victimology, that's it. Preach to them that they are the victim and they will believe anything you say. Now, that's people and society and humanity as a whole, right? But it's especially a thing within the black community because other groups, they fall for victim rhetoric. But niggas, they fall for more than victim rhetoric. They make victim rhetoric about themselves. They don't take any responsibility for their fuck ups and they would rather just blame everybody else. You don't need the victim rhetoric for them to believe it because they make it themselves. Niggas are nothing but a bunch of professional victims. I don't deal with them. Serious. That's why I don't deal with them. Because I want to be around people, regardless of race, that take responsibility for their own failures and will learn from them. I want to be around people who, if they fuck up because of their own doing, they are not going to come blame me or the white man or somebody else for it. If you fuck up, you fuck up. That's how I see life. If I fuck up, I fuck up. And I'm not going to blame other people for it. Now, when I say niggas, I'm not talking about black people. I'm not talking about black people. Okay? If I was saying every black person's a nigga, that would apply to me. I'm not a nigga. Okay? I'm not a nigga. And I don't like when people call me that. I get mad as hell when somebody calls me and calls me nigga. Even if they're like my nigga or something like that. I don't like it. You know why? Because I'm not a fucking nigga. I take responsibility for my shortcomings. I take responsibility for my fuck ups. I take responsibility for my future. If I make a mistake, I look at what happened and I fix it. Instead of blaming everyone else. I don't go out, get involved with fucking all kinds of different fucking women and have multiple fucking kids with different women. And again, I am not saying this about the black community as a whole, I'm saying this about a specific part of it. Which, unfortunately, the specific part is the more influential part, unfortunately. I don't go out with getting kids with different fucking mothers, having large ass fucking child support payments, and then blaming racism and the white man for me being broke, no. Maybe I wouldn't have been broke if I had kept my fucking dick in my pants in the first place, right? Maybe that would be the case. Maybe I wouldn't be so broke if I was more selective on who I have kids with and wouldn't get some bitch pregnant that I don't have any intention of fucking staying with. That's why niggas are broke. That's why. That's one of the number one reasons, right? And that's because of the single parent rates that come with that. Now, on that same coin of that, you have the women who see the incentivization of single parenthood that has been done in the United States, and they take advantage of it. 
and I don't blame them. Honestly, I have dissed black women a lot on channels of mine, but there is one thing I cannot diss them for, and that's taking advantage of this shit, okay? I can diss them for the effects that it has on the child, absolutely. I can diss them for the overall effects it has on the community, absolutely. But you know what? Honestly, I don't diss anyone if they want to exploit the welfare system or anything like that. Because you know what? I blame the government for making it so exploitable. That's why. I blame the government for making it so exploitable. If a person makes their money in cash and doesn't accurately report their shit to the IRS while collecting every fucking welfare benefit in the world, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck at all. That's smart. But at least, if you're going to do that, use the money that you make in cash to better yourself instead of using that money on fucking Jordans or Weave or some shit like that. Okay, when you start buying Jordans and weave instead of buying shit that will actually help you move up in life, all that does is keep you where you are. Okay, blaming the white man is not going to move you up. Doing shit with yourself and using your money right well. And that's the advice I have. Peace.